Hello beautiful, welcome back to my channel, welcome to this video where we are going to talk about the new Legendary Diversa, the collaboration between Una's Eye and Judy, Annette and Tina. And I'm so excited to see these girls back doing another collab with Una's Eye and this time it's a full collection. <laughs> I did receive this collection as PR and Udensai usually sends out their PR a little bit in advance so that you're able to try out the collection before it's being revealed or announced so that you can form your opinion and whether or not you want to like make a video on it or not. And I love Udensai. I think everybody knows this. It's just a brand whose formulas work really good for me. I enjoy working with the, the things that the brand has. I have myself done two different collabs with Udensai. One of them has parts still in stock at the website. That was the collection that we did last fall. There's still a couple of things left on the website in case you were interested in purchasing some of those. Maybe you are discovering the brand for the very first time right now. I will leave my playlist down below with all the videos that I have on Udensai in case you wanna like dive into the brand and see more about them. I do have an affiliated code with the brand and it is in Jeshka, but you cannot use that on any collab items. But if you wanna add something else to your basket, that code will give you 10% off your order. So this collection is with Tina from the Fancy Phase, Judy and and Annette from Annette's Makeup Corner, and they are doing a round two of the collab that they did. So this time they are doing another palette each, and we are gonna be talking about all of these um, separately. And they're also doing, oh, I have them here. They're also doing lip products. And this is the same component and the same formulas that I had in my collection with Udensai that was this fall. So this is the lips, liquid lipstick formula that I have on. It's a very moussey. It's a matte but not drying formula. There's also a glow gloss that is a little bit more of a sheer gloss and then there's a shine gloss that had a little bit more of a color to it. Actually, let's talk about these first. Each collaborator have their own packaging. This is Tina's packaging and Judy has the one that's a little bit more pastel -y, and then the one that is a little bit more blue and purple is the one from Annette. And let me actually show you some lip swatches of all of these on the side because I'm gonna film that separately and I'll put that on like TikTok and Instagram as well. I'm probably here as a short too, but there's no point in taking up time in this video doing that. I'm guessing these are gonna be the same price as the other lip products were, the ones that we had, and they're all really pretty. I will say it is a little bit confusing to me that they're doing, there's only one liquid lipstick, which is this one from Judy. And honestly, I don't really use pinks, but I actually really like this pink. I think, I think this is a really pretty pink. I'm wearing a brown liner around. Maybe that is what's helping. But yeah, I have no idea why there's only one liquid lipstick and the rest are glosses. I have no idea. I did not create this. I also wanted to say that there are a couple of like extras in this collection. There are like little magnets and there's one for each collection. Here is a look at this. Look at this little monster. It's so cute. And there are some keychains. Um, and I'm guessing guessing per usual these are items that you are going to get when you like buy bundles when you buy more than one item usually you get a couple of these extras there's also some scarves in which is the same print that is on uh, the packaging we have tina's we have judy's and we have a nets and it's basically the same portrait that is on the cover of the palette you get as a scarf. Again, I am guessing that all of this is going to be like if you buy a bundle if you buy more than one item you will get these gifts like added to your order, no extra cost uh, until they sell out. That's usually what Uden's Eye does. As soon as I have information about this, I will put it down in the description box together with when it's launching, how much it's gonna cost, what kind of different bundle options there are. All of that is gonna be in the description box, but I don't know if it's gonna be there as this video goes live, because like I said, whew, like I said, this is a little bit pre-filmed. Hair was being really poofy and warm today. So let's talk about the palettes because for me the palettes are always the star of the show. I did do one look with each palette and the first palette we talk about is Annette's palette. This is Annette and this actually says her full name, Annette Orrestad. This is the Mighty Monster palette which is looking like this. It is more like almost like a primal colors or more bright mixed with a couple of neutrals. This one has a multi-chrome down in the bottom. It is a green going to gold, going to pink. We have seen stuff like that before, but it does go really well with the shades that are in here. There's also one here that is like, it's so creamy that it's almost like a cream. It's like super, super foily. There's some interesting textures in here. There's definitely more than two formulas in here. And overall, I think it's a very interesting color story, especially if you like brights. Sina's palette is the Earth wood palette and it also has some brights mixed with even more muted colors. It's almost like there is like 
muted colors together with neutrals and then a couple of bright pops you also have a multi-chrome down in the corner which is like a lime green going to a gold going to peach it's a very interesting color there is a pop of peach there is a pop of mint there are some different combinations or unexpected combinations going on in this palette and i do like that both annette and actually all three of the ladies included some neutrals in their palettes because i feel like it makes them a little bit more uh, versatile not gonna lie the last palette the one from judy is actually the one that i am the most intrigued by and it's because it's so different and this is something that i'm very excited to see in the odin's eye range and it is the palette that i have on my eyes today this is the spring dragon palette and it is a pastel palette so this is a pastel palette with a pop of a couple neutrals down here in the corner and honestly these are gorgeous and i am so excited that this exists and i'm almost a little sad that it's a limited because Influencer collabs are always limited edition palettes most of the time. Nine times out of 10, maybe even more, 99 out of 100, they're limited edition because I feel like a pastel palette really is something that Odinside could benefit from. So maybe like in a couple of years, they could have something like this come back again. But Odin's Eye makes amazing pastels, according to me. I think that this looks really incredible and I'm so excited to have them in a palette like this. I always reach for my Odin's Eye palettes when I am looking for that pastel to add to my looks. So I think Judy made a really good job with this palette, curating a wearable pastel palette for spring that's very her because she is very much into this color scheme right now and her makeup looks are just absolutely amazing so i'm super excited about this one and i will be doing like i said three different looks one with each palette and i will link all these ladies down below together with their reveal video because i'm sure they're gonna have one where you can hear more about like the thought behind these palettes why they picked the shades that they did because usually a creator always puts that up but let's get into the looks let me know which one is your favorite and let's get this party going. So I'm pre-filming this a little bit and I'm so excited to be diving into this. This is the Mighty Monster palette and this is Annette Oristad's palette with Ulan's Eye. And well, I've already shown you some stuff, but I'm so ready to mix these two together. It's happening. And I think I might do the purple on the lower lash line. We're going to start with the gloss though. This one is the Snake Kiss Shine Gloss and it is like a brown. It's a little bit like the gloss that I had, but this is more like a red brown and the one that I had was a little bit more like a yellow brown. That's really pretty though. It's like a yeah reddish brown. So I'm gonna start with your Moon Gander. Uh, I don't even know if I'm pronouncing that correctly and it is literally, I don't even know if it's like technically Swedish or if it's Norwegian. I'm fairly sure that it's the same on both languages because Annette is Norwegian, although she lives in the US and I am Swedish although I live in the US, but I'm gonna start with that one. And I wanna put that over here, because I think that the mix between this one and the blue that's called Oceanic is gonna be amazing. And the palette that I did, the, the Hella palettes, this is the snake from those uh, palettes. So I think that's really funny that she's like exploring that even more. I am so excited about these colors. So yeah, I'm just stamping on the green a little bit. I haven't even started trying to blend it. I'm just having that out here. So the next shade we're gonna use is this one, the light blue, it's called Oceanic. And I just wanna do that on the side. I just think this is gonna be really pretty. And I might even like blend a little bit on the edge here. Just blending on a little bit more of the dark green. And I'm gonna start with a little bit of the dark green out here, just a little bit. And then we're gonna do the Ophidian, the purple on the inner part. And then we can play with some shimmers. I just think the purple is gonna be really cool with this. So let's do the Ouroboros, which is funny because I already, that shade like already exists from, I mean, technically it's been discontinued, but in my Hella palette, I did have a shade that's called Ouroboros because that is the name for the, the snake that wraps around the world. But here it is like a purple. And I think I'm gonna put it both under my eyes and I think in the middle here. I think I've, I've said I think too many times, but I think it's gonna tie it together. So a little bit on the purple. 
And I guess here. So it ties together with the lower lash line. It's more like a like a topper, which is something that I love because I feel like that gives so much dimension to shades and it usually makes them less crusty on a more aging eyelid. And once I have that on, I'm just gonna do a little bit more of the matte green to meet up. That looks really cute. I like that. I'm doing just a little bit of white in my inner corners. I'm actually using, oh, this Una's Eye palette. It's the one with the snowman. I really, really like the light shades in this palette. I use them a lot. And I'm gonna do some white in my waterline too, which is also a really, something that I've been loving doing a lot lately. So I think that's gonna be the finished look. So this is the first look and I think it is a super fun look. It's a little bit of an unexpected, you know, sometimes it's very easy to get into a monochromatic look or into a two color look, but this is actually blue, purple, and like a green. And I'm really enjoying it. And the gloss, mm, I really like this formula and I'm very excited to have even more colors. Not that I thought that like Uda's Eye was not gonna come up with more. I was fairly sure that when they developed these formulas that they were ready to bring out even more colors. And I think this is really pretty. I'm excited that I'm wearing this today. Let's get into look number two. Okay, it is time to dive in to the Earth Wood Palette, which is the one with Tina. And I really wanna do like a smoky purple because there's this like muted purple, muted purple, muted purple. So I'm gonna do a very, very easy smoky eye and I'm gonna show you how I can do that. Just using three shades and just like easy blending, easy placement, all of that. So we are gonna start with this one that's called Petal, that's over here. Oh, did you see I painted my nails? I haven't had any fake nails on for a bit, but now I painted my nails. I'm excited, I'm excited. So we're doing Petal, and I am wearing one of the glosses that Tina did. This is the Glow Gloss in Creativity. It's like a very, uh, almost like a very peachy sheer gloss. So, ooh, wait, let me, let me make sure that we don't have any creasing of the eye primer. I'm gonna go in and I am gonna push that. You can see that this is the socket. I'm pushing it into the socket. I'm using an E06, which is a little pinched as you can see. So I'm just gonna push that into the socket. From the inner part, all the way to the outer part. So you can see the darkness is in there. I'm blending outwards a little bit in the outer corner because I like this area to be a little lifted. So I'm just blending diagonally upwards a little bit. So it's like that. Now that I have pretty much the same on both eyes and you can see this isn't really blended, we are gonna do the one that's called Vitality, which is the more uh, almost like a smoky muted pastel lavender. And we are gonna put that, and I'm using a smaller brush now. This is also pinched as you can see. This is the EO4 and I'm just gonna press this on the edge. This is a trust the process kind of a thing. It will get worse before it gets better. And now I'm cleaning this brush off a little bit on the back of my hand and we are just gonna be blending a little bit on the outer edge of that purple. And now we're gonna add a little bit more, just again, buffing on that edge. Just adding off that lighter purple until I have a blend that I feel like somewhat okay with. And now I'm going back to the brush with the dark purple. I'm just adding a little bit more and I am again blending. And now I'm making sure that they are being blended together, that the edge between the lighter purple and the darker purple is blended and somewhat seamless. And again, it doesn't have to be perfect. Nobody's gonna get that close. It just needs to be something that you're happy with. Good enough. That's what we're striving for. Nobody is perfect. We're all just doing good enough. I feel like this is probably where I will leave it. 
I think you can see the blend of the purple here versus how it looked before. I am going to be doing this on my lower lash line as well. I actually might start with the lighter purple and just get some darker on there just so we have the smokiness all around the eye because the smoky eye is basically that it is like a smoke around the eye where it's darker here and just fades into something lighter. I'm going to do a little bit of that lighter purple in my inner corners too because we're going to do a smoky eye. A smoky eye can really look good when you have the darkness all the way around. Just don't carry it too far up on your the bridge of your nose because that will make the look maybe more intense than you want it to be. So this one is called Blossom. And since we have short nails, I usually, I don't do my finger, but since I have short nails, ooh, that is gonna be perfect. I think this is great. We are just gonna be covering our lid with this. <gasps> what a nice shade. So this is a nice way of doing like a, a shiny or like a metallic smoky eye. But if you just covered your lid with this matte one, you would have had a matte smoky eye only using two shades. But I love the shimmers from Uden's Eye. And even though I really do love an all matte look too, I just felt like this smoky, almost lavender gray would be so nice and I was not disappointed. So when I do a smoky eye with the shimmer, I try to like almost tap in the crease with the shimmer. So we get that dispersed smoky effect with the shimmer too. Okay, so I just put some mascara on and I'm gonna use a little liner. This is Charmer by ColourPop. This is a little warmer than I would like to go, but I still wanna have like a dark purple. And I think that this will work. When I'm doing a smoky eye, I like having something darker in my waterline because I feel like it brings that drama and smokiness. So this is the second look and the look with Tina's palette. I decided to do something purple and I really, really do enjoy it. I will say the layout of this palette gives me, it takes me a couple of extra seconds to be like, what did I want to do? Because the purples were not next to each other and there's a little, it's a little bit more of a jumbled thing. And if you like a little bit more of a challenge, like I sometimes do, that could be really fun. But it definitely the layout of this one is very different from um, the other two palettes but let me know what you think about the look. Let's get into the last one, which is going to be pastels. I know, pastels for spring, groundbreaking. It's time to do the palette that Judy did, which is the pastel palette. I'm very excited about this. I think I'm going to do a neutral crease and play with a bunch of the pastel shades on the lid and maybe the inner corner. I know this is very unlike me, but I just, I love a neutral brown crease with a pastel moment. I've done that before and I feel like this palette is made for that. So I'm gonna start with these two shades here, which are the more neutrally shades. This is Flora and it is a little bit more of a softer peach. I'm using an EO3 because I just want this to be like a softer transition shade. I'm not like packing this on, I'm just using a sheer layer. will say this is very light very 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 light so this is the dark brown i am just going to be accentuating the outer corner to give some depth and dimension mm -hmm. and then we'll do the pastels i am very excited about the pastels I just feel like this palette is so unlike anything that they have done before. I'm thinking, oh, I also don't have anything on my lips yet because I didn't decide which one I wanted because I want to see which pastels I'm playing with, but I'm going to do that same one under my eyes, just like two thirds, like I did on top. Let's go in with the pastels. I think we are going to start with the blue. Or are we gonna do the green? Green, yellow, blue? Maybe we'll do the green. The two here on top. Okay, okay, I have decided. Let me get a brush. This is Shun. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. I hope I am pronouncing that correctly, but it felt correct. That is so gorgeous. I'm, as you can see, I'm packing this on with a flat brush. This is an EO1. I tend to want to pack on my pastels to get them to show up on me. 
That is stunning. I'm also going to use a little bit in my crease and I'm just going to brush that upwards. That is... love it. You know what? Let me do the blue. It is called Rain. It's the one down here. I'm going to do that on the side of the EO one and I am going to push that on the lower lash line. I have the leaf blowers just underneath, like outside my window. I don't know if you could hear them, but like, they're so loud. I don't think you can. I hope not. Wow, that is very pretty. I'm so excited someone decided to do a pastel palette. I love that. Okay, let me clean off that brush and let's do the one that's called Seedling. You know how I love about a pastel yellow. I am obsessed. So let me push that. Oh, that is so pretty. Into the inner corner. Again, I am pressing, not blending. Feel like there was much fallout, but let's, for the sake of the argument. Now we're gonna do moss, which is this shimmery, like light green. Ooh, that is pretty. And we're gonna do that. <gasps> I don't really like using my fingers. I say that a lot, but I've been really... I mean, it's easy. <laughs> I can't lie. It is really easy to use your fingers. So maybe I just need to open up to that a little bit more. Now that I don't have any nails, maybe I just should keep doing it and just take advantage because it is really easy. I'm just tapping a little bit. Ooh. Okay. I'm doing a little blue in my watt line. This is number seven, also from Uden's Eye. I think that that looks really beautiful. This is very close to Prance by Colourpop. Honestly, this look... Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Let's look at our lip options. So this is Dahlia. That's a little red. And then we have Buttercup. Mm, that could be a nice one, like almost like a little papaya and then we have oh this is two lips this is a liquid lipstick you know what let's do the liquid lipstick because this is the only creator that decided to do a liquid lipstick and i really like this formula and i never do pink but i think pink together with this lip liner ah i'm wearing this new one by elf that's a really nice one so i thought maybe a little ombre so that is the finished look and that is the finish, the finishing <laughs> of the video with these three new Udazai palettes. I will leave, like I said, all the info down in the description box, when they're releasing, what you can expect, all of those things. When I have more info as well, I'll put all of it down below so that you can know like how to get some of these extra gifts, like what are the prices going to be, what kind of bundles they're going to have, because I'm sure there's going to be a bunch of all of that and I will put all of that down below in case you are interested. And don't forget to use a code if you're buying something else from the website, you don't have to use my code, just use a code to get some money off. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Please let me know your thoughts down below and I will see you when will I see you Monday I guess I think for a new video bye